and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited today to show you these seaweed bubble shards. They're super colourful and pretty and you can use them to decorate your cakes or put it on like a really simple dessert just to elevate it and make it look really fancy. And the best thing about these is that unlike other sugar work, you don't need a thermometer, you don't need to bother about hot sugar bubbling in a pan and trying to get it to the right temperature, none of that. All you need is just everything that's laid out in front of me, so a baking tray and silicon mat or some baking paper, your food dyes and some liquid glucose or glucose syrup it's sometimes called and some spoons. All you do is put it in the oven at 150 degrees celsius for one hour, forget about it, come back and then they look like this. Okay let's get started. You're gonna get your liquid glucose Tubs, so they come in tubs or tubes. Actually the tubes are easier to use but I've only got the tubs and the tubs are cheaper. So just spoon your liquid glucose out and then spread it wherever you want it to go. So maybe put it there and then you just want to spread it out a little bit. So I'll put one here and just make a, a splodge. And maybe I'll spread it out a bit so it goes this way. Maybe I'll do one more here as well, so a little splodge here. Have fun with it, create some shapes, see what happens. Because in the oven they can spread and they'll bubble up and they'll change, but that's exciting that you can't totally predict what will happen. Okay, so that's all my shapes splodged on and now I get to do the fun bit, which is adding your food dye. So I've got green, pink, blue and orange. So it's good to use a really good quality food dye. So I'm using these Rainbow Dust Pro Gel ones. You can use like Wilton or Americola or any other like good brand of food dye. If you use a bad brand, then you bake it in the oven and it's a bit disappointing because the colors don't come out very well and they're a bit bleh. So I'm gonna start with some green food dye. But I'm just gonna add a blob and maybe another blob. And that's it. And then on the other side, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. So we'll have the green and blue merged together. Blob of blue there. Tiny bit of pink there. That's quite a lot of pink actually. <laughs> but if you do use too much food dye, you can just like get a spoon and take it off. So maybe I wanna take that off. And then there's less. And then maybe with this pink food dye, you could swirl it through another one. I'm gonna swirl it like that, bit of that orange on here. And that might not look like a lot of food dye, but it does spread in the oven and merge together like a gradient kind of effect. Whereas at the moment they just look like blobs, but that will all change. It's all like magic anyway. <laughs> the magic happens all in the oven. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for one hour and the oven's preheated to 150 degrees Celsius. And then I will show you the finished results. Ta-da! Okay, so you can see that now these are out of the oven, they have completely transformed and they've created their own little separate bubbles. That one's merged into two different bits and then you can see the colours have joined as well, so like the yellow and the green. So just peel away from the shards. And now you can see the light shining through that, isn't that amazing? So just peel all of these off. And there you go, so they look Super, super cool. They're really effective to do. You can use them to decorate and elevate anything you do. This is quite a small quantity, obviously, but sometimes I've done it and I've made like a massive, massive giant piece, which I will show you actually. So look at that. I think I intend for that to be individual blobs. And then it all merged together. And look at that purple bit. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. And that is like a tiny, tiny little seahorse. And this one's cool too. I don't know what that looks like. I like doing like raw shack, raw shack tests. I mean, it's like transparent. You can see my arm through it. I think I, my outfit's too colourful though. It's kind of clashing. <laughs> it's such an easy technique, but it looks so impressive. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. That would really help me create lots and lots more videos like this one. Also, I haven't mentioned the taste of these, but they actually do taste really good and they snap. This tastes like crunchy sugar. 